Hey guys, with Guy here. As some of you may or may not know, I was recently kicked from Blacklisted, a guild that I had joined back in September of 2016. I'm making this video because many people are making false assumptions as to why I was kicked and being told false information. The cause of the spread of false information was from a forum thread created shortly after I was kicked. Let's start from the very beginning. Halfway through map 16 of HG Teams, Morris, a guild member, decided to create a faction with a few other blacklisted members and blacklisted recruits. While we were doing stuff, Morris had told us that he had an x-ray texture pack and was using it to see if people were camping outside of the base and he said he was going to use it to try and find a spawner. A few days later, me and six others felt that Morris wasn't being fair as the faction leader, so we decided to quit the HD Teams map and wait until Arcane released their second map so we could create our own faction. When Arcane released their second map, Morris had specifically said that I wasn't going to be invited, so we had created our own faction. On Wednesday, January 25th, Morris's faction made my faction raidable. It was suspicious how they managed to get into our base and make us raidable. And because my faction knew Morris had an x-ray texture pack, because I had told them, they informed the staff. The staff on Arcane screen shared him, and after he admitted to having x-ray, he was banned for 10 days. I hadn't logged on Arcane at all that day, and had no involvement whatsoever in reporting him. I didn't even know that they had reported him and gotten him banned, until they informed me a few minutes later. Here's a clip of an admin on Arcane confirming that I was not online that day. Just this account, I was just wondering if I logged on Wednesday the 25th. Well, no, you can just show them this picture, and then they can do math. Okay. That's actually the one day you did not log in. There you go. Alright, thanks. Having received tons of shit talk from Morris and Slack prior to going raidable, I posted the image of him getting banned with the image titled, Ha 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 ha. And I commented, a man down, LMAO, L. Morris responded saying that he was banned for x-ray, but he didn't use it, and the staff didn't have any proof of him using it. This was undoubtedly a lie, because he had used it quite often in the few days we had played on HD Teams. And what other reason would you have an x-ray texture pack in your resource pack folder, when you only play HDF if you did not intend to use it? A few minutes later, Morris said, no faggots allowed in Blacklisted, and uploaded an image of Demon Apocalypse kicking me from the guild, Undoubtedly, because Morris had told him to. We continued the conversation on the Slack chat, and he immediately claimed that I was the one who reported him. After defending myself from his false accusations, he says that I would have been kicked either way, and that I'm quote-unquote mad disrespectful. It would seem clear that I wouldn't have been kicked either way, as after he assumes that I was the one who got him banned, he got an officer to remove me from the guild minutes later, instead of discussing it. He responds with, Make a sorry video, and we will forgive. Further proving my point that I was not going to be kicked had he not been banned, and instead he wanted attention from my YouTube channel, instead of resolving the conflict that had led to the removal. Before I had a chance to reply, I was kicked out of the Slack chat and I could no longer log into it. A few minutes later, Morris created a thread in the Megawall section on the Hypixel forums titled, L for Swift Gaia Kicked from Blacklisted. In the thread, he had very different reasons as to why I was kicked from his Slack messages. His first reason states that I'm garbage at the game, get railed by everyone in Blacklisted, and quick drop to gaming. To me, it's odd that he states that I'm garbage at the game, yet the only person who seemed to be able to beat me in our fair zombie 1v1s during some of the Blacklisted events hosted with members and recruits was Sovek. It is true that I quick dropped to gaming, but at the same time we were doing friendly 1v1s on the HG Team's kit map, and we weren't tryharding, just practicing our team fighting skills. His second reason states that I have a huge ego, and again states that I think I'm good, but in reality I'm trash. I can even agree with the first part. I do have quite a large ego, and I do realize that. The definition of ego is a person's sense of self-esteem or self-importance. And just because someone feels highly of themselves doesn't necessarily make them a bad person. In his third reason, he states that I'm annoying and I constantly spam L. He doesn't feel the need to elaborate on how I'm annoying, and in my opinion it doesn't add up considering I haven't played with him in approximately two weeks. In his fourth reason, he states that Quote unquote, nobody liked him in Blacklisted, and they wanted to kick me for a while as they don't like my personality. I will get to the first part in a minute, but if they didn't like my type of personality, why would they come to me asking if I was still interested in joining a few weeks after I had applied, and then they let me stay in the guild for five months continuing to play with many of the members. His fifth reason states that I'm a dick to almost everyone, and I value mind man more than friendships. The problem with this is that many people who have talked to me before know I don't go out of my way to be rude or harass them, 
and anyone who knows Morris can probably agree he's not exactly the nicest person. Also, he continues to personally attack me because apparently he knows what I value in my life, because he's omniscient. And his sixth and final reason, he states that I told different recruits they had no chance of getting into Blacklisted. Morris is very good at skewing events to make it fit his narrative. However, I only told one recruit that he wouldn't be joining Blacklisted, as he had intentionally targeted me and another Blacklisted member around the entire map with his party, despite the fact that we had significantly less players than every other team. I said this because if he had made it to the voting phase, where the guild votes whether they want to keep him, he already had gained two no's from me and the other blacklisted member, and if I had shown the video to others, possibly more. In Morris's closing statement, he says, Blacklisted has taken out the trash. Nobody wants him, which again is ironic because he and Galaxy were the people that got me into the guild. I replied to the post, saying that the real reason I was kicked was due to him getting banned on Arcane and pinning the blame on me. He fabricated the reasons to make it seem like a legitimate kick and had no authority to get an officer to remove me from the guild immediately without any discussion. Morris responds to my post, again claiming that there were talks of kicking me before this and that he didn't get me kicked, but Demon Galaxy or Emlyn would have done it either way. This doesn't seem to add up because Demon Apocalypse has completely quit Hypixel in general and doesn't care about it. Galaxy doesn't log on very often because he too has somewhat quit Hypixel. And as you can see from the Skype logs, which we will get to later, Emlyn didn't want to kick me. Also, if he didn't get me kicked, why would I be kicked from the guild just 20 minutes after I posted the screenshot of him getting banned in Slack, causing him to believe it was me who reported him, and then saying no faggots allowed in Blacklisted? Again, his claims don't add up. He says, everyone in Blacklisted wants you gone, nobody wanted you, which I will get to in a minute. Morris continues and says that I told many recruits they wouldn't get into Blacklisted, despite the fact that I only told one person, and he probably can't name the other supposed recruits that I told that to, because I never did tell it to anyone else. He claims I trash-talked one of the co-leaders, Welps, saying he was 20 and should do something with his life. Again, he skewers the story to fit his narrative. I legitimately asked Welps something along the lines of, wait, aren't you like 20 years old, and no harmful intent with the wars and with the context it would be more apparent which i am unable to obtain because i'm no longer in the slack morris goes on to say that he never used it on mine hq or arcane but not only did multiple recruits know about it when we, they were there in the hc team's faction but morris only plays megawalls in hcf so what use would the x-ray be for megawalls also why would you have an x-ray texture pack in your resource pack folder if you did not intend to use it in his conclusion, he says I trash-talked members, recruits, and officers. However, I only trash-talked one recruit due to his actions in a game. He says I deem myself better at Megawalls than anyone else in Blacklisted, which I do because, in my opinion, I believe it to be true. Regarding Morris's many statements that, quote-unquote, nobody liked him and nobody wants him, here are a few screenshots from a few Blacklisted members I talked to after I was kicked. Their names are blurred out because they would most likely be harassed and kicked if Morris found out who they were due to the corruption within the guild. Later that night, I logged on Skype after I had been kicked from the Slack and started discussing the whole situation with almost everyone involved. The conversation lasted for about two hours, so I'm not going to read out everything. I will link the full conversation below if you would like to read it. The only thing I had changed from the original text was the names of people to their IGNs as to avoid privacy issues. I would like to highlight some things from the Skype conversation, however. The first thing I would like to mention is that Emlyn clearly states he doesn't know anything about the situation and did not know why I was kicked, despite the fact that he's the current leader of the guild. Emlyn states a few minutes later that if you're hacking and you get banned, you can't really blame someone else. I completely agree with this, as it was not my fault Morris was cheating. Demon said I had told multiple recruits good luck joining or something along the lines, which further proves the point that Morris is fabricating lies and feeding them to most likely not only Demon, but the others involved, as I had told something similar to this to one recruit, not numerous. When I asked for an example of me being disrespectful to someone, Morse only seemed to be able to cite when I called Emlyn dumb earlier in the Skype chat because he had created a biased poll for people to vote on, and when I legitimately asked if Welps was 20. One of the most ironic messages in this 
piece was when Demon said, When making this guild, I wanted to make it important to the officers slash guild as a whole not to talk down on each other and make others feel like they have less of say or less power than someone else. So when you tell recruits they have no chance of joining, that's a huge red flag in my eyes. But at the same time, if it actually was a problem in Demon's eyes, then why wouldn't he mention something about it to me instead of waiting until about a month later to mention it? Then they bring up how I had shit-talked their faction on Arcane, but at the same time, it's hardcore factions, and they were doing the exact same thing to us. Morris states later that it started because a few members of its faction had killed us, and we called them out for using X-Ray, and we banned him from our team speak. When in reality, I said that it was possible they could have been using X-Ray, because the way in which they had found us was suspicious, and we already knew Morris had an X-Ray texture pack, so it wouldn't be surprising if another person in their faction did. The reason I had banned Morris from me and Dan Noob's team speak was because the instant we died he came into our lounge and began to harass us so i removed him from our private team speak galaxy later responds saying you are not compatible with the guild once you embarked on shit talking members and created unneeded animosity between guild members shit started to go down the drain like you can't expect people to still be cool with you if you are ridiculing them to their face and also behind their back you aren't even in a position to shit talk most of the people in the guild because they haven't even done anything to deserve that the underlying problem here is that you have a huge ego and we thought that was under control when you joined the guild but it returned and ruined our relationship with you also, if you did tip the staff off about screen sharing Morris, then that's simply fucked up and deserving in a kick of itself. It seems fishy that Morris was AFK in the base all day long, and all of a sudden he was being screen shared. It's not like he was mining or anything to create suspicion, more like there was an agenda behind it. Most likely to do with your Morris hating agenda, so don't act confused because you're caked. You need to have somewhat of a relationship with the officers and the leaders to stay in the guild, which you all but lost by yourself. Galaxy again claiming that I've been shit-talking members, but can't seem to provide any screenshots as to me saying that to anybody, because I never did. If I had said anything, it most likely would have been on Arcane, whereas I had already stated that they were shit-talking us, so we shit-talked back but I never harassed any of them personally like they have to me. He again continues with saying that my huge ego was the thing that ruined the relationship, but again, we haven't been regularly talking with each other at all for the previous two weeks leading up to them kicking me. He continues saying that if I did report Morris, it deserves a kick in itself, which is the polar opposite of what Emlyn had said earlier. Quote, if you're hacking and you get banned, you can't really blame someone else. He still believes that I was the one who reported him, based on his following sentences for my Morris-hating agenda. The more claims they make, the more and more ridiculous they become. He's claiming that I'm out to get Morris, but again, I didn't report him, and I have done nothing to Morris. If I was out to get Morris, why wouldn't I have reported him on HC teams to get him SS and banned, or have reported him earlier in the Arcane map to get him SS and banned? Galaxy continues not believing me that I wasn't the one who had reported Morris and attempts to say that he wasn't using it, despite the fact that he had used it numerous times on HE teams and had it in his resource pack folder. Morris says it's snake like if the person reported you is in your own guilt. For those that don't know, he's essentially saying that I'm a snitch and or a backstabber. As you might guess, I completely disagree with this because cheating is a very scum thing to do. And it shouldn't matter what relations you have with the person, you should still report it, although I hadn't. Welp's reply is saying that I think the guild is a joke and that we work as the unit secrets within, implying that secrets in the guild are meant to be kept as secrets, including members that are cheating, which is not something I should expect to hear from a helper on the Hypixel network. Morris replies yet again claiming there, that there's no proof of him using it, and Demon says, regardless of Morris getting banned, you still got kicked for being a cunt. Which again doesn't make sense considering I got kicked just 20 minutes after after I'd said something in Slack about Morris getting banned. I never harassed any of them, and I haven't even been in a team speak with them for over two weeks since before the kick. They are trying to make it seem like Morris getting banned wasn't the reason for kicking me, but it seems like it is. Morris continues to harass me. Now Morris said that him getting banned was a quote-unquote tipping point in kicking me, although I didn't even report him and I had done nothing else to deserve a kick. Morris continues to harass me. Welps and Morris were calling me a snake again, so I said I snake what deserves to be snaked, and then Morris quoted me and said that's why I was kicked, which the main reason as to my kick has changed numerous times for Morris, and he can't seem to be able to decide on just one. 
At a completely unrelated thread created by one of the AJS members, I tagged Lucky Kessie, suggesting that she ban the AJS members on the forums as well, and Morris responds to my post, attacking me for no reason, saying, you have no friends, contradicting that his earlier statements that I was the dick to everyone, and he wasn't. In my most recent video, I put in the description asking if I should make an, a video explaining why I was kicked, and Morris comments, can't wait for your biased interpretation on why you were kicked. Almost every single officer didn't want you in the guild. Every member I spoke to on this matter didn't like you, the ones I spoke with. You trash talked recruits, members, and officers. Your ego is insane even though you're shit at this game. And another factor is that you're a huge snake. Then again, your delusional mind will most likely not listen to what I just stated. Firstly, Morris does not seem to understand that bias w is and always will be there, and it is impossible to be completely unbiased. But in this video, I am attempting to be as partial as possible, and stating my opinion on the situation, giving the facts and the given evidence. The problem with him talking with quote unquote almost every single officer is that he doesn't state who he actually talked to, and he most likely only talked to the ones he knew would side with him because they've been good friends with him for many years, not necessarily because they agree with his viewpoint. Another problem is evident when he says every member he spoke with didn't like me, but in reality how many members did he talk to, or did he just say that in an attempt to make it seem legitimate again as he did with many other points. He again continues to shit talk me despite the fact that I've done absolutely nothing to him, and he constantly goes back to saying I'm shit at the game. He brings up the same point again, saying that I'm a huge snake. I assume he's saying this because he still believes I was the one who reported him on Arcane, despite the fact that I hadn't even logged on that day. He also has no right to call me a huge snake, considering I was going to make a Hypixel Cheater Exposed video when I found out one of the members in Blacklisted was cheating, but he had, he had told me not to, so I didn't. He again continues to harass me for no reason, saying my delusional mind won't listen. Regarding all of Morse's claims about me shit-talking them, I'd like to show a few screenshots I found in my screenshots folder. All in all, it feels like betrayal, and what they did was pathetic. I joined Blacklisted to forge new relationships as we used to hate each other. I made many friends in Blacklisted, and it's sad that because of a select few, I am no longer in the guild. I never had issues with anyone in the guild while I was in it, so I am awed at how many people turned on me and sided with Morse's fabricated narrative. A huge thank you goes out to the people in Blacklisted who didn't do this or side with it, and especially to those who defended me, and I hope we can continue to be friends. I enjoyed playing with you guys, and I hope that this will not become a barrier between us. It's very sad to me, after reflecting on all the friends and memories I made with Blacklisted, to see that be crushed in the matter of a day, and probably even more so after this video. Let me know what you guys think of the situation in the comments, and make sure to share the video with others so they know what actually happened. If you guys would like to see me make a Blacklisted Memories video, or something along the lines, let me know. Also, if you are in a good, active, and competitive Megawalls guild that might be interested in inviting me, have the leader PM me on the forums. I'll see you guys later. Peace.